I grew up on Hannon Road, the border of Wayne and Canton Township. My father built the house I was raised in. He began construction in 1955, two years before I came around. So I was not present to see how my dad built that house. But I was old enough to see how my dad built this two-car garage. I remember him saying that tomorrow I'm going to start the garage. And I think I was about nine or 10, so I was all excited to see how dad was going to do this. And my dad went out there with a shovel and he began to dig. Well, I didn't understand this at all. I thought, was the garage going to be underground? <laughs> Why is dad digging down? <laughs> of course, as a child, I did not understand that any structure that's going to last has to have a deep foundation, a strong foundation. And my dad dug and dug and dug, and he dealt that all away across and, and to the entire area of what the garage was going to cover. And I remember the cement trucks coming and pouring that foundation. And then dad finally, weeks later, getting about the business of putting up the frames. It was the first time my dad actually let me help, they help, help out there. He didn't let me nail anything, but he let me swat the flies. I remember walking around, I was in charge of killing all the flies. <laughs> but nevertheless, a building was made and my dad built it on a sound foundation. Today, we celebrate the feast day of St. Joseph the Worker. And St. Joseph was a worker indeed. He worked very hard. He was a carpenter. And we need to be reminded that in the time of Jesus, in the time of St. Joseph, there were no power tools. Every board sawed was sawed by hand. Every drill hole made was drilled by hand. Every nail was pounded by hand. Needless to say, not an easy life. But Joseph built many, many things in that village of Nazareth in order to support his wife Mary and his child, our Lord Jesus. And the things that he constructed, I'm sure, were used in many ways, from benches to barns. Probably did it all. But he did it all out of love, a love that he had for Mary and a love that he had for Jesus. So on this day of Joseph the worker, we are called to think about work and work done in terms of love. And are we appreciative of the people who do work for us? Do we truly think about the people who do things on this very day for us? Because as we are sitting in our houses and in our condos and our apartments waiting for the virus to pass, there are people out there today working very hard in the grocery stores, unloading trucks and loading up the food. There are people in fields in the South or in Mexico now picking crops to be shipped North. There are people driving those trucks. There are people in hospitals working in all kinds of different ways, from doctors and nurses to technicians, making sure that those are sick are being taken care of. There are firemen and policemen and ambulance drivers out on the road today making sure that we are safe. Those people are all working very hard and they're working so that we, the vast majority, stuck I mentioned in our houses, condos and apartments, well, they're out there working for us. So one way we can uh, uh, appreciate today the feast day of St. Joseph to the worker is to in prayer, thank all those who are currently working for us. Because without them, we truly would be lost. And secondly, think about the kindnesses that we receive out of love. That also involves the labor. Partly it could be, as we made all these many calls, it could be your children or your neighbors, and in some cases, grandchildren who are coming to bringing you food and putting it on your door. That's a work of love. Or maybe, it's the work of patience and the work of kindness that we experience in our houses themselves. Because, you know, when you're locked up together with family members over a period of time, there can be moments, few I hope, where patience may run thin. And we can pray for that gift of patience and remember that it is through the gift of love, through the act of kindness and forbearance that we show to others Christ present in our life. 
this is a day appropriate for us in our situation to thank those who are working for us and to appreciate the love that we receive.